um, it, it's a series of conversations we're going to have with community f folks uh, who are concerned that the city has been taken over by developers and bankers and lobbyists that represent them. They're developing the city um, and the county area for, not for the folks who have lived here historically. And we've been struggling um, when we find out about Brackenridge Park and that Brack is being taken away from the folks who've been going to Brack for over 100 years. You know, how can they develop a master plan and how can they make these changes without having talked to the community? Why is it that, you know, it's Brackenridge, it's Main Plaza, it's Travis Park, it's the streets of San Antonio, all this development, it's Hemisphere Park, all this development without our decision making. So today was just the beginning. We gave a, a historical overview of the city, how it's been developed, where people have resisted to a lot of this development and we will continue on August 27th and beyond to figure out strategies. So um, what we did today was that we had a community meeting um, and we made a timeline that went that described the history of development and corporate takeover of San Antonio and we did this because there's a lot of talk about when there's always another issue that this is new that we need to do something now um, and there's a lot of it's a lot of reactionary um, things that happen in San Antonio when we know that a lot of the problems are deeply rooted in imperialism and um, and corporate takeover is not new and so that's what we just wanted to talk about today um, as for next steps I, we just all agree that we're going to have more of these conversations, that we're going to have more of these meetings, that we want people to be involved in um, city council meetings and other community meetings and um, just know, getting to know their neighbors and their neighborhood and what's happening and just keep, um, just keep getting involved and keep fighting and hopefully we're going to actually have a next community meeting next month um, in August 27th. 10 to 1 at the Esperanza Peace and Justice Center, 92 San Pedro. And um, we're going to continue these conversations, hopefully get deeper into what we can do, um, and not just to react to certain situations, if it's Brackenridge Park, if it's Elmendorf Park, um, if it's Hay Street Bridge, but actually to um, fight the root of the problem. And so that will take some more planning, so that's what we're going to do. But really what happened today, I think, was a great example of just like how many different issues that people are facing and how easy it is to just see our one issue and want to focus on that. But in reality, all of these issues are interconnected and we really need to find ways to work together. And I think we see that sometimes that's difficult. Um, that's the only way we're going to create real, real lasting change so we don't have to keep reacting to problems, but we find ways to proactively solve these problems. I think for me, a lot of what I was really interested today um, in this meeting is to talk about the bond. And I've been doing, personally, a lot of work around the affordable housing bond, and we've seen it's gone through a lot of struggles recently. Um, one of the things that has been happening with that is the possibility of urban renewal coming back, or as some people said today, urban removal, which is incredibly accurate. Um, and it's important to, to know that this isn't going to be an issue that we're only facing right now. This isn't the first time San Antonio has faced this issue. Um, and we can learn from the people who have faced it in the past, and we can learn how, how they battled it, so how we can tackle it today, and get people on board to conti continue to tackle these issues in the future, and try if we can get a group of people together who's dedicated, who is able to work on change, to try to create systematic change and change some of these systems that um, keep people oppressed and keep people down um, to really create like a future San Antonio that is for everyone, is for the whole community and people that have been here for thousands and thousands of years.